Thank you, Seymour. Your shamba smells delicious. I'm glad you like it. I've been perfecting the recipe for weeks now. You never cease to amaze me with your cooking skills, Seymour. Thank you, Superintendent Chalmers. Would you like a drink while we wait? Yes. A glass of wine would be lovely, Seymour. <laughs> me to apologize, Seymour. I'm sure it will be excellent. Let's head to the dining room. I'm glad you approve of the shambar, Superintendent Chalmers. It's a traditional Nepalese dish made with lentils and vegetables. It smells heavenly, Seymour. You really do have a knack for cooking. Thank you, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm just happy to share it with you. Yeah, I burnt my shambar again. What's going on with Athena's recipes today? And I don't know what to do now. Maybe I should just throw it away and start over. This is ridiculous. Why does everything have to be so difficult? Great, just what I needed. Another obstacle in my quest for the perfect shambar. All right, I won't let this defeat me. I'll figure out a way to save this burnt mess and make it taste amazing. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I even bother with all these culinary challenges. I guess sometimes things just don't go as planned. Time to move on and try something else. I've got it. Using coal as a substitute for my burnt shumbar will work. Climbing out the window won't be easy, but I can do it. Criminy? Why did I have to burn not one, but both dishes today? Okay, here's the plan. I'll grab some coal from outside, mix it with herbs and spices to make a delicious replacement for my burnt shambar. And if anyone asks, I'll just say it's a new, unique flavor. Wish me luck. Smoke in my kitchen. Ah, uh, just a little bit of shambar, my friend. You know, the steam can sometimes cause smoke. Steam. That's a new one. Scaro, what are you even trying to pull off here? Did I swear? It's just steam. You really need to trust me on this one, buddy. Yeah, right. I've heard this tale before. Let's get this cleaned up before someone comes over and thinks we're trying to burn down the house. Skinner, this doesn't look like the steam shambar I ordered. Oh, it's just a piece of coal. Some people call it shambar. I don't believe you. That doesn't sound right. I swear it's true. You just don't know the dialect. What dialect is that? It's a regional dialect. It's how some people pronounce shambar. I want to hear more about this dialect before I eat it. What the hell is going on here? There's a fire in the kitchen? Calm down. It's just a little Krampus. Uh, uh, Krampus in the kitchen. That doesn't make sense. I know what I saw. It's not a big deal. I want to see it for myself. What do you have to hide? Hey, Skinner, what's up? I see you got your fireworks out. Yeah, trying to lighten the mood a bit. The, the smell of smoke in the house has been overwhelming lately. Well, maybe we should keep an eye on your household from now on. Thanks for the offer, but I think I've got it covered. All right, all right, all right. So, what brings you outside on a lovely evening like this? Just needed some fresh air. The smoke in the house has been getting to me. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps we should come up with a story to explain all of this. Perhaps it was a giant Krampus after all. Yeah, right, like the world needs another ridiculous tale. Oh, please. As if the world needs more humor. Care, care to join in, Doctor? Skinner. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try. 
The more ridiculous, the better. Excellent. Let's head back inside and come up with the most epic Krampus story the world has ever seen. All right, let's do it. But first, I need to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Of course. Good night, Skinner. Sweet dreams. Good night, Chalmers. Thanks for the fun conversation. <laughs>